This video describes how to run a cyclic AMP cell-based assay. This assay gives results in under two hours, is easy to use, everything you need is included, and it has been successfully published more than 1,500 times. How does it work? Cells produce cyclic AMP. It will compete with labeled cyclic AMP to bind the antibody. The more cyclic AMP is produced, the less fret occurs, resulting in a quantitative decrease in fluorescent signal. The kit includes anti-cyclic AMP donor antibody, acceptor labeled cyclic AMP, cyclic AMP standard, stimulation buffer, lysis and detection buffer, protocol which is also available on our website. Let's start now. First, prepare a stock solution by reconstituting the cyclic AMP antibody and labeled cyclic AMP in distilled water. Then, reconstitute your standard using stimulation buffer. You now have 5x stock solutions that can be aliquoted and frozen for future use. To prepare working solutions, simply dilute your 5x stock solutions to 1x. Next step is to prepare your standard curve using the standard provided in the kit and the stimulation buffer. Make serial dilutions as indicated to obtain your standards. Run your standard curve and triplicate following the instructions in the protocol provided with the kit. To begin your cell-based assay protocol, dispense 5 microliters of cells in each well. Add 5 microliters of test compounds in different concentrations. Follow the protocol's recommendations for appropriate controls. Seal the plate and incubate at room temperature. Incubation is usually 30 minutes, but can be longer depending on the compound used. Remove sealer and add first 5 microliters of labeled cyclic AMP, then 5 microliters of anti-cyclic AMP antibody. Incubate one hour at room temperature, and that's it. With the homogeneous protocol, you can complete your whole experiment in under two hours. After incubation, read the plate on an HTRF compatible reader. Since this is a competition assay, an increase in cyclic AMP correlates with a decrease in fluorescence. The lower the fluorescence signal, the higher the concentration of unlabeled cyclic AMP produced by the cells. The dose responses will allow you to determine your ICEC50. Congratulations! Now is the time to enjoy all the benefits it offers. We also provide specific GI and GQ kits as well as cell signaling assays to complement your study. You can visit our website or contact your local representative for more information.